The Prime Minister has gone back to a birthplace of the modern Liberal Party to introduce himself and his political values to the nation. Scott Morrison's offering no grand new policy direction, but he is trying to make good on his promise to reunite a divided party. National Affairs correspondent Greg Janet. Scott Morrison. Inspired by Robert Menzies, quoting Robert Menzies. And we'll fight for those things until the bell rings. And, and seizing the office in Menzian adversity. Here I am, leader of my own party, for better or for worse. I've come to talk to you today about what's in here and what's in each of their hearts. The Liberals' modern leader went back to where the party began, in Albury, for the launch of a prime ministerial political persona. Who loves Australia? Everyone. We all love Australia. Do we love all Australians? We've got to. Light on detail, heavy on beliefs. This was no Morrison manifesto, but it was the rejection of defensive oppositionist politics. Because you can't just be about what you're opposed to. You've got to be about what you're for. The Prime Minister's for family, free trade, economic growth, pensions, subsidised medicines and social cohesion. This is my why. These are the things that I believe in. With his whys laid out by the banks of the Murray, the difficult hows of governing lie ahead. <laughs> Scott Morrison's ripping up the rule book on modern political deportment. Folksy and at times revivalist in tone, his task now is to revive a party which is still deeply wounded by the events of two weeks ago and which refuses to pretend otherwise. It's an acceptance of a level of behaviour in Canberra that would not be tolerated in any other workplace. Julie Bishop's leading condemnation from the backbench. With allegations of bullying and intimidation and harassment and coercion and the unfair, unequal treatment of women. And if she departs as expected, she wants political women of the future treated better than those of the recent past. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.